In today's video, I'm going to talk about three common mistakes for coach guy. Okay, I'm going to show you first. I'm going to talk. Okay. Okay, so the first mistake is uh, not many people uh, use their hands for kuzushi. So kuzushi means getting the most balanced. Okay, so you have to use your hands. This is, kochigari is one of the uh, foot techniques, but more importantly, so you have to use your hands to break his balance, get him off balance like this. So ideally, I want to break his balance this way, like this. Okay, so diagonally backwards using your hands. Like here, like this. One more time. So my right arm, my right hand, I push upward then forward. Like push, not pull, but push. And use like my palm, this part, to just push the chin up, push the chin up and pushing forward. And my the other hand, my left hand, I push the sleeve down like this. Not just pulling down like this, but you can twist your wrist, okay? Twist your wrist to push. Finally, you push. <coughs> push it down. It's more uh, powerful if you push it down. Not just pulling this way. Push. So you can so grab and twist the wrist to push. To push it down. And again, so use you know, both hands at the same time. So again, like I push, push him forward then push it down. So like this. So he's taller, but uh, you can still, you know, you can really use your, your hand. So like uppercut, I guess. Okay. And your left hand and push, push it down. One time. Yes. So that you can uh, break the balance diagonally backwards. Okay, this way. Not sideways, but Backwards, but a little this way, diagonally backwards, and up and down, like this, up and down, like this. And as you use your hands, you can kind of squeeze your your elbows, like this. Not just push up and push up, not, not just like this, but you can squeeze your hands, your your elbows. Okay. So this is one of the mistakes. You have to use your hands. Okay. You have to use your hands to get them off balance, to get your opponents off balance. Okay, otherwise, even if you catch the, the right timing, you can't finish. You're not able to finish your throw without using your hands. Okay? That's uh, the first uh, common mistake. And the second mistake is, uh, you know, many people just bend their knees like this. Okay? Bend like this. So this throw is about like, sweeping. So sweep. Okay? So catch the time and sweep all the way. So sweep. So it's okay to just a little bit bend like this. This is okay, but you can't just uh, pick his leg up like this. You can't, uh, you can't pick his leg up. So instead, you want to sweep, okay? Sweep all, all the way through, okay? Catch the timing and sweep, okay? This is about sweeping. It's not about like picking the leg up like this, okay? And for me, I, I use yeah, this is okay to use, you know, you can use the bottom of your foot, okay, the bottom of your foot. But you can also use your, your heel, you can use a heel, okay. You can use a heel to sweep his heel, like heel, like, <coughs> like heel to heel. So this deep, okay, deeper the better. Okay, if there's a lot of, you know, if there's a lot of space here, ah, you know what I mean? So it's not effective. So you have to get it really deep and you know get the leg really deep and you can kind of use your heel, like heel to heel. You know, this is deep enough to sweep all the way through. This is very powerful. So you can just try to use your heel, like not only, not just the, the, uh, the bottom of your foot, but you can use your heel and sweep all the way, okay? So that's the second mistake. And the third one, uh, the last mistake, so the timing. So let me talk about the timing. 
So I have to catch his leg first. So catch his leg and I use my hands. So if you use your hands first. <clears throat> so now all the weight is onto his right foot. So I can't sweep his leg. You know, this leg is too heavy. So again, the kuzush first. And, you know, if you try to uh, sweep this leg, you can't. Because, you know, his weight is already onto his right foot. So before you use your hands, you have to catch the timing. Okay, I'm gonna throw it fast, okay? So catch, okay, catch the timing. So catch the leg and, okay, push and push, push down. So catch it and right away, use your hands. Not exactly the same time, but so catch the timing, catch the timing and your hands, okay? And uh, one of the best timings for uh, Kouchiga is I make a fake, kind of like, <coughs> I make a fake, like, like Morote Senai, I, <coughs> you know, like uh, making a fake for Morote Senai or, or any four, you know, four throws, four attacks. I make a fake, so if I make a fake like this, so uh, he's going to shift, he's going to shift his weight backwards, right, to, to try to block my uh, forward, forward attacks. So you can, uh, you can react, you can, <coughs> so now he's going to shift weight like that, that way, backwards, okay, so he's kind of leaning backwards, so his weight is, you know, going that way, so you can use his reaction. So again, so you will make a fake and just you know make him react. So make him react and you can make him lean backwards. And then you make uh, you sweep. So I'm gonna throw it. Here just make, make a fake and go. Hold on. So so you have to be careful that you know, so again, you if there's a lot of space. Uh, so it's hard to reach his leg. So you have to you have to stay close. And make a fake, make a fake, and go. Again, like this. One more time. So here, I just make like a head fake, and your body fake, and pulling fake, and make make fake, and to make him lean backwards, and go that way. Okay, this is one of the uh, good uh, timings for a coach. All right. So uh, I'm gonna throw him uh, two more times. Okay. Oh. okay. Okay. Thank you.